Most people in life are looking for love. That is true. We go through our early beginnings in life knowing that there are boys and girls and people who live sort of in between. Meaning that they have concepts and they have principles of both what we might call national standards of gender. National standards of gender are very different than what happens when a person gets to the age of majority. When the person gets to the age of majority, they are pretty much wholly responsible for their income and their expenditures. A person who receives a resource for their business is going to decide how they utilize it. They will decide whether they use it for themselves and their salary, or whether they use that for the benefits of their clients, or whether they turn it over into something else. The liars of a community think they have the right to police a person's business without consent. The liars of a community will think they have the right to take a person's medical records without permission. The liars of a community will simply walk around a community in and out of shops, ruining a person's potential for relationships and the opportunity to build business. We actually have federal laws that protect advertising. And advertising says, I'm not giving you false advertising. Advertising also promotes that all companies are expected to not discriminate. And yet, employees do it every day and put their companies at risk. The fools of a company will stop working when they're still on the clock and pretend to be working. The stupidity of a community in a different type of shop will simply take information of what someone purchased and pass it out so that those items might be stolen. You see, the foolish people in the world do not get rights. If it was happening to them, they'd be upset. But because they're doing it to someone else, they don't care. You see, selfishness is always something that Jesus Christ talks about, but selfishness is often what we get. The truth is that we all have the right to be somewhat selfish, but the only question is what does God think of you is sort of important because at the end of your life, you're going to be facing the Lord. And when you face the Lord, are you really going to be standing there going, okay, so at this time of my life, I stole a spoon from a homeless man. At this time of my life, I spent an actual month or year practically cutting a man's beard off without his permission. And I know he grew it because he loved you, Jesus, but I just didn't think it looked good on him. 